In this short video I will show you how to expand the basic collection of subassemblies available in AutoCAD Civil 3D by creating custom subassemblies using Autodesk Subassembly Composer. I will also explain the basic workflow and how to import and use custom subassemblies in Civil 3D. The Autodesk Subassembly Composer for AutoCAD Civil 3D software provides a powerful yet easy to use interface to visually create, without the need for programming, complex subassemblies or simple ones for any reason missing from the stock subassemblies included in AutoCAD Civil 3D. The Autodesk Subassembly Composer provides a user interface that is designed to help streamline workflows. The flowchart provides a more intuitive view of the subassembly logic and is easily modified using drag and drop functionality. The graphical preview displays the subassembly geometry and can be used to help simulate how the subassembly behaves with different target values. The preview area dynamically reflects all changes made to components displayed in the flowchart. The settings area allows creating and modifying settings such as input, output and target parameters leaving the designer flexibility to adjust available attributes when the subassembly is inserted into drawing. To create basic subassembly, I select the component from the toolbox and drop it into the flowchart area. I can specify parameters for that component such as name, type and its geometry definition. I select another component change its definition and see those changes immediately in the preview window. By creating relationships between points, links and shapes, I create the whole geometry for this subassembly. On this occasion, constructing this simple curb, I decided that all dimensions are fixed and the subassembly shape will remain static when used in the model space. I can also make the dimensions parametric so they can be adjusted once the subassembly is inserted into drawing. The same principle applies to codes which can be assigned to points, links and shapes and which are used to create corridor feature lines, annotation or other model output. To better illustrate dynamic features available when creating custom subassemblies, please have a look at the following examples. More complex or conditional subassemblies can be built using decision switches subsequent flowcharts, sequences, variables and even error message handlers. In the preview window, we can simulate how target parameter change affects subassembly behavior. Subassembly Composer works directly with PKT files that can be saved, exchanged and imported into AutoCAD Civil 3D as presented here. I have created custom tab in the tool palettes where I am building a collection of my subassemblies. Subsequently, I can use these to add them to an assembly and model the 3D corridor.